Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2019 general reading. We are looking at the first half of July from the 1st through the 15th. Welcome to everyone here. Welcome to newcomers, uh, first timers, and welcome back to followers and subscribers. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video or any of the videos. And for those of you who send in your support, feedback, and comments, thank you so very much. And a big thank you always to all of my clients out there. You guys keep me so continuously busy with personal readings. Always an honor and a pleasure. And if any of you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with me, live or recorded, you can get more info and contact details by clicking on the description link below or going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button there. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. Uh, I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life and scheduling is pretty good too. I do readings full time six days a week. It is the sum total of what I do. So I'm pretty diligent at working with both your schedule and mine to get you readings as quickly as possible. So if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. All right, let's move right into this reading. This reading is for the fire sign of Leo, our lovely lions, for the first half of July 2019. As many of you know, general readings uh, always resonate a little differently for everybody who's watching. So if you know your other signs, your rising, moon sign, Venus sign, watch those as well. Uh, they can provide additional clarification. Okay, Leo, let's see what the first half of July has in store for you. This will be a birthday month for some of you who are born the 23rd and on. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo, we, ooh, we begin with the Ten of Cups, the Happy Home card, great way to start. Followed by the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. Followed by the Ten of Pentacles beautiful gorgeous cards and from the bottom of the deck your overall energy is the nine of swords why the stress leo leo you for the first half of july for you looks truly beautiful truly excellent it looks like there is a beautiful offer coming in for you however your your overall energy or your focus or it could be underlying energy underneath this this offer or opportunity is the nine of swords which i always say i never like seeing because it represents fear anxiety uh mental distress and it usually shows up when someone is in fear of something which hasn't happened yet like fear of a future which hasn't played out yet. Uh, you're imagining what the future might hold or might not hold and it's it's often the worst possible outcome. What am I going to do if this happens? And what am I going to do if this doesn't happen? Uh, but it's somewhat illusionary, meaning that the source of your fear might be valid, the source of your concern might be valid, or it might be a valid question or concern. But the Nine of Swords usually shows up when someone is building it up in your, in your head. Uh, to be bigger and worse than is actually reflected in the reality of the situation. It can represent, um, y you know, fears that aren't actually reality based because swords in the tarot is governed by the element of air. And in the tarot, air is what governs things that go on in our head, mental, psychological, cerebral energy. Swords represents our thoughts, our ideas, uh, our belief systems, our ideologies, because that affects the way that we see the world, people in the world, and, and it also affects how we communicate. Uh, because it's about what we believe and what we think and what we see. So the Nine of Swords is a card of your mind being your own worst enemy. You're somehow afraid of this offer that looks absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Let's pull really quickly a clarifying card for that Nine of Swords. What exactly is this fear, stress, anxiety, staying up at night about? <coughs> The Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is, is what's clarifying what this Nine of Swords is. So the Seven of Cups basically is, it, it's about building 
castles in the sky fantasy illusion uh, the promise and potential of what things might be or could be but it's not really all that grounded and practicality cups is water energy that's the element which governs the suit and in the tarot this is the energy of a heart of the heart like our feelings our emotions our emotional inner emotional landscape it's also the area of our life that deals with relationships so the seven of cups has a very dreamy illusionary daydreaming uh, fantasizing uh, not necessarily a bad thing but this clarifies what your fear is about so I think, Leo, um, this offer, which looks quite beautiful, which we'll take a look at too, uh, your f your fear and your worry and your concern is that it's it's illusionary or that it's not reality based or that it can't really come to fruition, that it can't actually be manifested into reality because the Seven of Cups is is daydreaming about the possibility and potential of what has not yet. Uh, come to fruition or what what you haven't actually uh, built up yet so I think you're worried about whether or not this offer or opportunity which is showing up um, is actually reality based or if it will come into you know is this really real or am I fooling myself here uh, the ten of cups and the knight of cups absolutely beautiful energy the ten of cups is that 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 happy home card happily ever after uh, although <laughs> you know it's not perfection um, but tens also represent uh, cycle completion and in the ten of cups it's emotionally in a very beautiful way uh, it's called the happy home card because it represents being at a place where you feel things finally have come together particularly in regards to home family it's one of the marriage cards blessings childbirth home happiness and harmony uh, unity uh, peace uh, feeling like things have just finally come together it's not a card of perfection I mean in this we, we work towards that but it's a card of feeling like uh, things have finally finally come together now this is the offer uh, because the knight of cups is bringing the ten of cups the knight of cups knights are the bringers the deliverers the protectors and guardians of the tarot when they show up they usually represent something being brought to you or that you're extending outwards offers opportunities this is the knight of cups this is the knight that comes charging in with his cup full of love offering uh, making a love offering an emotional offering an offer of loving support and encouragement as well uh, and sometimes the Knight of Cups, because Knights are sort of in the middle of their growing up uh, process. We all begin as pages. Uh, pages are the ones that, that are the dreamers, the ones that come up with the ideas, but they don't have the the uh they they have such young useful energy they don't have they can come up with the ideas and the dreams but they don't have uh, the experience and the maturity yet to actually build that flesh that into reality and then through growing up maturing and evolving uh, we grow into the night energy spontaneous and impulsive um, uh, having more maturity and uh, ev personal involvement so that they begin to actually put things together into reality uh, and, but they they sometimes have a tendency to be very fast moving because knights are known for being very fast moving. Uh, so sometimes the challenge of the Knight of Cups is in following through. You know, coming in and promising the sun, the moon, the stars, this beautiful, happy home. But sometimes the Knight of Cups, if he has a challenge, not always, but sometimes it represents somebody who, in the day to day, you know, can't follow through with what he promises. And this may be somebody that you. I this is. I think obviously for many of you somebody that you already know it could be somebody making this offer to you or you making this offer to somebody else but I think for many of you it's somebody making some kind of uh, offer uh, for what this ten of cups might represent to you it might be getting engaged getting married building a home and a future together because you also have the ten of Pentacles which also has a strong connection to home and family but your fear is the seven of cups is this realistic can this person really follow through can we actually make this this happen home not perfect but this beautiful happy home and actual reality we have the three of wands and the ten of Pentacles here uh, here's another ten you have the ten of cups and the ten of Pentacles both of these have a strong connection to home and family uh, the ten of cups is more that beautiful family unit in the emotional sense and the ten of Pentacles uh, Pentacles is earth energy Pentacles is about the stability and security of the actual structure of our life it can often represent 
uh, uh, money, jobs, finance, property, resources, assets, things in our earthly day-to-day -day life that make us feel stable and secure. There's a strong connection to, to home in this as well. It can represent family home, family money, family property, family estate, inheritances. Uh, it represents longevity that comes from time and history and effort that's put into it. So this is about building uh, a long-term, stable, secure home and family unit. The Three of Wands is putting the work into it. The Three of Wands, uh, when you look at the cards in the progression, the Aces represent the beginning, the seed, the spark. Uh, the idea, the the beginning of the opportunity, the start of the new path, or the opportunity for that, and then we transition into uh, the twos, where we're trying to make a decision as to as to how to go, which path to go down to, to make something in reality, or or which path we should choose to do it at all, and then we transition into the three here, the three of wands. This is about where you start putting the actual effort, because wands is fire energy. This is very action oriented energy. This is about beginning to do uh, the work, doing uh, you know, uh, laying the foundation for the home that you're going to build on. So. There is an offer coming in uh, in July, Leo, for many of you. Now, because this is a general reading, there's so many of you watching. This could be a variety of different things. It could be um, getting engaged. It could be getting married. It could be, um, you know, moving into your first home together. Uh, it could be, you know, beginning your family. There is some kind of, but I don't think it's probably that beginning uh, a family childbirth because there's an offer here although it might be in you know that sort of offer as well um, so it's about there's an offer or an opportunity on the table to come together and build a home build a family or join two families together um, I feel like for many of you uh, I, you know it's it's a relationship reading um, and I think I feel like a lot of you who are being presented with this offer opportunity are going to take it even though there is you know a lot of underlying fears about whether or not this is realistic or practical or whether you can actually build it uh, because it looks like many of you actually begin to put the work into building uh, this stable home unit now for some of you this could be actual property uh, you could already be uh, in an established relationship or this could just be a home on your own although there's a big connection to family here uh, you could be perhaps purchasing your own home uh, building your own home renovating a home and certainly the nine of swords would make sense there because all of those things can be very stressful is this really real can we really make this reality is this going to be too expensive are we going to be able to do it is this ever going if you're building a home is this ever going to come to fruition I've been through all of those things it can be very nerve-wracking um, so it really just depends on which which story is yours for those of you who are watching so let's pull a guidance card for how to nav how best for you to navigate through uh, the first half of July Leo in regards to this situation it's definitely something that revolves around family and home and home happiness and harmony whether it's engagement or marriage or it could be childbirth for some of you or you know whether it's about the actual property the actual building the house itself or the home itself so let's see what advice is for you the eight of wands is your advice so <laughs> go for it the eight of wands fire energy here which is the element which governs wands fast moving action oriented passionate uh, lots of communications and conversations going back and forth very powerful very positive also a card of of movement of travel and spirit divine timing and orchestration as well some of you may be traveling towards the person who's offering this or they might be traveling towards you as well um, this is definitely a card of forward moving action so for many of you the advice is to to go for it to step into those fears uh, and insecurities because the nine of swords is is just as unrealistic as this this seven of cups I mean we all want to be grounded and not you know we want to make sure there's water in the pool before we jump but the nine of swords is envisioning the worst uh, and the seven of in, in an unrealistic way and the seven of cups is envisioning the best in an unrealistic kind of way uh, you know so 
I think you need to let go of that energy and bring some maybe some earth energy in uh, <clears throat> to kind of help you uh, spirit is advising many of you to just go for it but whatever you decide because as I always say we live in a free will zone uh, Leo you can choose to do take one path or choose to take another path every path has lessons on it so every path is valuable uh, spirit is advising many of you to move forward on this but at the very least do not let fear uh, be the thing that makes the decision for you so Leo, that pretty much wraps up your reading for the first half of July 2019. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful and useful because that's why we do these readings. Again, if any of you are interested in scheduling a more personal one-on-one uh, -on -one reading with me, particularly if, if this or any of the videos resonate with you, please feel free to contact me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I do uh, love and romance, of course. Uh, I do relationship compatibility readings, which take a look at a specific relationship between you and someone else or between two people, uh, career work and finance readings, investment readings, and I also do six and 12 month overviews, which take a look at what's coming in all the main areas of your life over the next six or 12 month period of time, depending on how far ahead you want to look. So there's a variety of things to choose from. You can get uh, more info and contact details by clicking on the description link below or just email me. I'd be happy to hear from you. I can usually respond to your initial request with more information the same day or within the first 24 hours. So uh, please do so if you are interested. And I will see you all in a couple of weeks, Leo, for the July 2019 mid-month readings. Until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.